The Venture Resolve Beta 19 has been released and it came with a bunch of new features. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the defocus background feature that as of right now, it's been one of my favorites. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So this defocus feature is very simple to use and it's very effective. So what you want to do is go ahead and grab your clip. Right here we have a clip of a model in a amusement park. Now what we want to do is go to our color tab. Next, we want to go and look at the effects right here and search for defocus background. Right here, you can either add it into your node or you can, you can just place it right here on the line and it just adds another node for you. So we are going to focus the background, which the process is the same if you want to defocus and focus. Make sure to click on mask invert and right here on the um on the magic mask, we want to click on our person and we could do this right here. Quality better. We always want it to be better. And we just want to go ahead and select our person so it won't blur. Just do a couple of lines. What I noticed is that you guys don't have to do anything crazy. Just give the venture resolve like a rough idea on the object that you guys don't want to focus or defocus. Next, you want to go ahead and track forward and back. So it's going to do its thing. Like I said, it it does a pretty good job as you can see right here it maintains it so that's what we want there real quick if you're passionate about video editing or simply love seeing creative content make sure to follow me on instagram at gacho films over there you will get a glimpse of my work that i create for my clients so whether you're a content creator potential client or just someone who appreciates my edits you will find something for you on my feed so why wait follow me on instagram and let's connect now that everything is tracked here on blur, but we raise it all the way towards the right. It did a pretty good job. Look, it got our person out and that's what we wanted. And we go blurred, blurred all the way towards the left. You guys can't even tell the difference. So the good thing about this is that let's go to 0.6 and so we go to advanced options. We actually have two blur types. We have lens and we have the Gaussian. It really depends which one you want. It, they do make a difference. So if we zoom in a bit and we click it back to lens, it does do a difference. It just depends on what type of style. Sometimes Gaussian is better, but sometimes lens is better. And overall, you could do so much things. You could go ahead and do the saturation all the way down, all the way up. And you could also change the color. So right here we have it as blue. But let's say we want it green we could just change the color and that's pretty much it right here on mask invert if we don't click this it's gonna go ahead and just focus or defocus the person or anything that we highlighted on the magic mask so it's important to click on this magic inverse or else it's not going to work so i really enjoyed this feature and many more features that came in the ventures of beta 19. so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe, hit the like button, and see you guys later. See you guys.